Okay, welcome back. This is part six of my file upload tutorial. And uh, in the last part, we uh, <coughs> sorry, we uh, generated our random code value, and we made sure that it's not already taken. Uh, now, while the video was doing what it does, um, I noticed that there's an error right here. Uh, it's actually two because we copied and pasted. Uh, but this should be where and right here as well so I just noticed that um, so yeah okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to create our directory um, so we're gonna say uh, we're gonna create our directory which is uh, our random code that was generated we're gonna create it inside of our files folder so we're gonna use mkdir and this only takes one parameter and this is the location and the name so right there so if we look in here save and refresh no such file or directory uh -huh. okay uh... Maybe it's okay so error uh, maybe because we can do that. Okay, still getting there. Um, ah, that's probably why. There is no file directory, it's files. Refresh and resend. You see, we now have this random folder. It is empty. So if we refresh and resend just a bunch of times, you can see that we now have a bunch of random directories. So uh, that means this script is working. So we're just going to delete all those. All right. So, um, yeah. Okay, so we've created our directory. Now we're going to move our file into this directory so right there and so inside of files and then uh, dollar sign code so right there this will move our file into this directory we've created so if we refresh and resend and see we have our hmm that's weird we have this and we create our folder Ah, forgot to throw that there. So if we delete this, and oh, ah. there we go. So if we refresh and resend, you see, click. See, we have our folder, and you can see right there, we have our file inside of it. That means this is working. So we can delete this. Now we're going to unblank uncomment our query and we need to change it a little bit so if we go back in here we see we have our ID title code description and date so we have ID title description so right in here we need to put our code bam <clears throat> right there and date so if I refresh it'll just send in our random values which we do not want. Alright, so uh, what this does is it creates a random value and yeah. So now what we're going to do is since our file has been uploaded and inserted into the database, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a link to our file and make it so you can download it. So we're just going to throw in two line breaks right here. And we're going to create a link. So a href equals, and then our we'll scroll over some, and then our uh, single quotation marks, and end the link. There we go. So we'll just make it say download file, and uh, we will make it a link to download.php. And we haven't created this yet. Uh, question mark. Uh, 
and we'll just say file equals and then dollar sign code. So what that does is it creates a link to a, a page called download.php and we'll be using the get method and we'll be getting the code um, that is displayed. Actually we'll just say nah, we'll just go with file. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, so yeah. And it's gonna display the code in our URL up here and we'll just have to use the get method and get that value and then search through our database, find the file, and then make it available for download. So I'm going to now create a legitimate link or a legitimate upload in our database. So our title we'll just say blank rar file description. This is a test and we'll choose our file. Our blank.rar submit. Your file has been uploaded. Download the file. So uh, I know you guys can't see this. Actually, I'll just open it in a new tab. You can see we have download.php and then file equals this random gobbly crap. So you can see that it worked. So if we go to our database and our files, you can see we now have it. Everything's working. We have the date inserted as well, which is a non-essential, but it's there in case you want it. Um, so now it's working. Now what we need to do is, uh, which we will get started on, is we're going to create a new file. And oh, okay, well you can see our files right here. Bam. And if we go back to our upload directory, or our, our root directory for this, we're going to create a new file. So control end. Throw in our PHP tags, and this is called download. If I can spell download correctly. Dot PHP. Okay, so we now have that. If we refresh our page, you can see now we're just getting nothing because we just have a blank file. So if we just go back here, you can see we have we we're just getting nothing because we have a blank file. Uh, it still says object found, but at least we're not getting those errors. So, um, in here, we're going to use some PHP. We're going to uh, get the file, so dollar sign file equals dollar sign underscore get, oh, then our brackets, and then this is the file. So, if we just echo out the file, we can see that we're getting the file successfully. And if we change this to something random and we click go, you can see that automatically changes. And we'll eventually put in errors. We'll eventually put in some error handling and we'll say like if the file is not found then we will uh, include have some errors that will be displayed or something. Okay, so what we need to do now is we can get rid of this I'm just going to echo out a very simple title and actually what we'll do is we won't have a title just yet and what we'll do is we'll include, we'll, we'll display the title of the uh, file that whoever inserted it using our form, whatever they put in here, we'll display that inside of our title. So. What we're going to do is we're going to connect to our database, so we're going to require our connect.php page, and then we're going to create a query. Query equals, and actually, what we'll do before this is we'll put in an if statement. We'll say if file, so we'll make sure that a file has been received, and if it has been, then we'll uh, do all that, but if it hasn't, we will just require our index page. And we'll throw it in like this. Please upload a file. And then we'll have our index page. So, down a couple of lines. So, 
Uh, yeah, we're just gonna indent that. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we'll continue on with what we're doing.